Time now for the one and only, the original Friday Night Sports Blitz. Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, we've had some good local matchups so far. This next one, no exception. That's for sure. We had a lot of Play of the Week nominees. That's been a common theme this week. Let's see if that trend continues. I have a feeling it will, but let's we will see. All right, let's roll the video. Little Mustang Night is Ingleside taking on Banchetti. Here, Ingleside look at a rebound from last week's loss to Beeville and going to take it in. Sawyer chalk there for the end zone. Mustangs up early. Then Chalk going to keep it himself. Another rushing touchdown. Mustangs going up two scores early. Van Ketty, head coach Lance Riddell, trying to get his guys going here. And he kind of does. Watch this. The bad snap for Aiden Flores. Get it? Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get a prayer up. And that prayer is answered by Damian Jenkins. He breaks two men and gone. Play of the week nominee. <laughs> this is an incredible play. You thought the play was breaking down, and then that happens. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And you know what? And that was good and lucky. Yeah, exactly. But the, the night would belong to the Mustangs. That made it 22 to 6. All Ingleside in this one. 58 to 6. But that one Van Kenny touchdown was a doozy. Hey, it put them on the board and it's one. And on the map. We will remember for the rest of the year. All right, let's move on to San Diego. The Vaqueros playing Rio Hondo. But that is Bobcats. not San Diego's field because it wouldn't be wet. It's, it's not it's blue. blue turf. Yeah, yeah, it's not blue and it's not soaked. Okay, so here's Mario Lopez. He'll get this all the way down to the 15 yard line. Nothing came from this drive though because that's a fumble that'll be recovered by the Vaqueros. Are they ready for us? Yes, they are. Ronnie Old White. School Channel 3. Yes, touchdown San Diego. And so that really got things going because now Nick Guerra is going to pick up some big time yards on the ground. And now Jaden Lozano is going to take this one in to the end zone almost. There it is. Yes, it was on the other side, but we can still get those points on the board for them big time. And the final is 42 to 29. So Rio Hondo. Rio Hondo must have had a fantastic finish to that game. Huge win for them. All right, let's get to the next highlight. Two-way action as the Premont Cowboys pay a visit to Agua Dulce. Here early on, it's Premont that comes up with the block and they get the ball deep in Longhorns territory. You think they're going to score, right? Well, you would be wrong if you assume that because <laughs> here, Agua Dulce's Brian King with the big hit. Wow. Oh, bringing Bam. him down. So now, later, it's fourth down, and Fremont going to decide to go for it. That was a bad decision because the ball gets put on the grass, and Aguadulce recovers really didn't matter because it wouldn't have been a first down or a touchdown either way. But then Aguadulce taking over. Lance Ranley going to run for it, and he too puts it on the ground. This is a little, little ugly Holy in the first God. quarter. But it did get better. Aguadulce goes on to win this one, 41-14. Just a little camera shine on the first one. A little bit of an ugly start that turned into something special at the end, right? Yeah. There after, we go. After we left. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. 41 points on the board. Pretty good. All right. Latonia Bulldogs. Three Rivers Bulldogs. The Bulldogs versus the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs. What's going to happen? So we had Battle of the Kings. Yes. Battle of the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs. Cody Sells to Jason Daly. And that is a big time play. Now a touchdown right at the goal line. So the Bulldogs fans absolutely three rivers yes. loving it. Yes, three rivers Bulldogs, right? They are playing there. And take a look at this sideline catch. Xavier Saranza. Saranza. Saranza, Saranza, yes, big time. And that Carranza. was Carranza. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We got it. So we got it. Here. Yes, it goes into the end zone. Three rivers up. 
14 to James nothing. James Contreras there with the score. Yes, at a big time play. This is a long pass by Three Rivers, and now we're going to get that rushing touchdown by James Contreras, there who will take this one into the end zone. That makes it 21 to seven. Three Rivers, and the final score in that game is 55 to 24, winning the battle of the Bulldogs. Three Rivers does. Bulldogs stay unbeaten on the year there in our blitz rankings as well. Okay, so unfortunately, we were hoping to have Beeville highlights from Victoria. Weren't able to get the feed from the Victoria station up there. Uh, Beeville did fall tonight on the road. So that's the bad news. The good news is we have the Beeville marching band from a couple weeks ago for the marching scoreboard. And football player Evan Harmon was performing with the band. Now, why he is performing under a scaffolding? I don't know, but he is. So take a listen, take a look at your scores. Yeah. <laughs> 